Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? All of these ruins look like they were made pretty recently. But if that's the case, then where do you think the people that used to live here went off to? There must have been Danans and Renans, right? That's a good question. Even if the Danans rebelled and managed to overthrow the Renans here, there should still be some people around. This debris... Do you think it could be the work of Renan Astral Arts? Perhaps. But the appearance of these ruins is rather uniform, which leads me to believe otherwise. Hey, Rinwell. That story you told us about the Dark Wings, it said that the evil king was vanquished with a holy flame, right? Yeah, that's right. Then there might be some truth to that old story after all. It looks like all the rubble here had been scarred by flames. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. If we can find someone around here, we might be able to get them to tell us what happened. Dohalim. You forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh yes, I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. How to comb your hair is equally important. And learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there... She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, and another thing. About your owl, Rinwell. What? what is it? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> Did I say something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all.
Maybe something's going on in the forest. What are those out in the valley? Windmills? They're huge. They're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big. Right there. Don't move. They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? You first. Show yourself. I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. What are you? My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Bayfon of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces, so everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. <sighs> you do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadheim. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, uh, yes. I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. So you're Elfin, are ya? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. 
Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah, the lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the Blazing Sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then- mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh? Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. my friends. <sighs> friends? Renans are Renans. The scum-sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! Would you know that? Maybe it's because you and that little lady are friends and more. <gasps> That's enough! Dead on. You know that was completely uncalled for. <laughs> All of you, get the hell out of my realm! And don't ever come back! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here! And I make the rules! I do! Dead I'm! Leader of the Dark Way! Yes! Dead I'm! Liberator Dead I'm! You are the true leader of this realm! We're not afraid of any bright eyes! It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! Hey, wait up! Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon? Dead I mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Oh, believe me, I've got my bone to pick with the Renins. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. I get the feeling Deadeye signed up to be a rebel so he could have a roost to rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is... When you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. <sighs> I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful. And because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it'd been Zephyr instead of Deadeye, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling, but at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Dead Eye and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. The city is liberated. And yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicent once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danans with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. 
You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalin. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves, and outright forbade the ownership of instruments, is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. What's wrong? <sighs> All right. What the? Hmm? Good. All right! A voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. <sighs> oh yeah? Hmm. How's this?
By the by, Xion, if you don't mind my asking, would you be willing to share what sort of clothes are currently in fashion on Rena sometime? Sure. As long as you call me Captain. Sir, yes sir, Captain Xion. I was just joking. Kinda has a nice ring to it though. That dead I'm creep certainly has a few screws loose, that's for sure. Forget that guy. Right now, we need to discuss how we're going to proceed. What's there to discuss? Dead Eye and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. I want to go after her. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Darkwings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. <sighs> you make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance at defeating her. I have to agree. This realm isn't going to be truly safe as long as that lord is still running around out there. We need to act. Fine by me. But isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. For now, we'll head to this Esteluva forest Bayfon told us about. Whatever we decide to do, though, we should take some time to rest first. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Where are you going? Elfin. You should get some rest. What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I will when you do. Have it your way. Shion. The Lord's days are numbered. I haven't forgotten our promise. You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? So, we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Esteluva Forest. Next time, pay attention. Sand in my eyes! The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. Ugh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. Hoodle, don't get blown away, okay? The winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. 
Indeed, Mahogsar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Heros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible, but I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the Lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. Fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look like they formed naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Danis' astral energy. Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways, but even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind, but I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point, they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the Gold Dust Cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. So, you don't say. How? I see. Hey! Sure. Nice work. Oh? Very nice. Well? Yes! 
What? What? <sighs> I don't believe this. All right. No. Sure. Really now? Yes! What? What? Very nice. Mm. Yes. <laughs> well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but... Frankly, they're starting to stink. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And... Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And Xion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course, my apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are gonna get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? was undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed.
Retreat if you know what's Here good go. for you. It's Here over. Elusive deity. Here I come. 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 This should make for some good weapon crafting material. One of your friends, Hoodle? Why didn't the Renans take advantage of all of these ruins around here? It seems like a missed opportunity. Most likely because it would be inefficient for harvesting astral energy. Dispose of the trash. In a bind? Light burst form! Radiant Genesis! You don't mess around! Certainly not! Over so soon. Let's dispose of the Here trash. A comfortable win. Let's see what you've got. Be still. You're finished. Rising up. This is coming handy. Here I come. You're finished. I'm not so good with airborne targets. It's over. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. Get lost! Take it! On your Here I come! It's over! You're on! Dragon Swarm! Pierce! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Get toasty! A comfortable win.
Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. That food there looks pretty tasty. Yep, we can fix that new recipe with it. I eagerly await the final result. Am I imagining things, or are there a lot of big zoogles in this area? No, I noticed that too. There's plenty of food and water to go around here. For a zoogle, this just might be paradise. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. what you've got. You're mine! Yes, You're finished! Win. Ignite! The last one! You're here! Put on your I'll be saving this way! I'm not Blazing done! Back. Here's the evil! Run away! Three red, sir! Short rain alpha! I'm ready! Got fire! I've got... In an instant! Impact block! We work well together. Like a finely timed wall. Take this! Be still! Cut! Luna Rongo! Air pressure! I'm ready to finish! Get toasty! Burn strike! I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. Thank you. Power 
This one keeps charging us! That's what my shield's for. Get behind me! So you Go. clamor for my I'll true power? Breaking sword! Oh, I'm ready! Oh, no, no. Demon's descent! Flashing fang! You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry. I've got your back. animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. Is there a reason you're looking at me so intently? Shion's kind of turned into the local fashion critic in our group. So this is what lords like you wear. Certainly looks the part. I can tell at a glance what high quality everything is. It's not often Shion's that impressed. You wear a lot of rings too, don't you? They were a gift. Purchased rather cheaply, or so I was told. What's your definition of cheap, exactly? I believe it was around 100 to 200,000 gold. What?! If my wolf head cost 10 gold, then that'd mean... Holy crap! They cost a thousand times more?! 10,000 times more. If he sold those things off, I bet he could build a damn mansion with them. At the very least, he'd never go hungry the rest of his life. You're all beginning to sound alarmingly interested in my rings. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances, and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Do Halim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Danon history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept, too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or anything. Shut up, Alfin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Xion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Dan and slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them. They nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. 
If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danans see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my Master Core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. Little late for that. Hey, Rinwell. What was that whole legend you were talking about earlier, back when we were by the gate? Huh? Oh, you mean about the Darkwings? It's an old story about a Danon hero that's been passed down for generations. Like I said, I sure haven't heard it before. Yeah, me neither. Well, long ago, there was an evil king who tried to bring all of Dana to ruin. However, a pure black owl heard the pleas of the people and decided to help. It chose a young hero and bestowed upon them a holy flame that was capable of vanquishing the king. The story goes that the young hero challenged the king and defeated them with the flame. Seeing Dana had been saved, the people flew the crest of the Darkwings as thanks to the owl for its help. From what I understand, it used to be a really well-known story before the Renans came. I guess our people must have forgotten it over time. It's lucky for us you still know it. You sure are well-versed in these sorts of things, Rinwell. You know, the part where the hero defeats the king with a flame reminds me a little of Alfin. Uh, come on, it's just a story. Besides, if we're talking about an owl helping anyone, Hoodle would definitely choose Rinwell. Sure. I might have helped take out our own kind of evil king with the others, but I'm definitely no hero. That and Hoodle's wings aren't even black. Huh. Hey, that actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> that definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again... Maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Sorry. 
See you guys tomorrow. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. Hey, that looks pretty good.
quite necessary when creating weaponry. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. I'll see you again tomorrow. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Guess I'll polish up my sword. Make sure to get some good rest. Well, off we go. Push yourself too hard. What's this thing? I find the sounds of the night to be rather comfortable. Make sure to get some good rest. Well, off we go. A fish! You saw it too, right? Hey, 
What do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. <laughs> Reel it in. Well, it's not bad, per se. Nice work! <sighs> Reel it in! Well, it's not bad, per se. Looks like a pretty energetic fish. <laughs> All right! Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Nice! You caught it! 